Hey, what is going on guys? This is Nick or Saint Nick Games here back with another video and today we're gonna do something extra special and it is going to be how to win every single survival games match that you play. Now this video is, you know, I'm not sure how to put it. Like I should probably be charging a lot of money for these tips and tricks because these will absolutely get you a win every single time now I know that people have been trying to figure out these secrets for years and years and years now but just the other day I finally laid it all out and it is 100% effective so let's get right on into it first thing that you're gonna do is join a survival game server that is one of the first steps in being a successful player and now that we are in the lobby, we are going to be able to, uh, you know, just get right on into things. The first thing you need to do is make sure you talk trash to every other player. Just like that. You guys suck and I will win. That is the absolute best thing to say to your opponents. Because if you're in a situation where, you know, they could kill you but maybe they don't want to, they will make sure not to kill you because of the fact that that you said you guys suck I will win now the next thing you want to do is rush to the middle for chess because that will give you the best items and then you, and and then you gotta make sure you don't get out of anything because that will fool all of the other players into thinking man he actually got stuff so now I'm gonna take notes and say you know paradise Nick has items but I tricked them into thinking I did when really I don't so now I am a big threat to this entire server um, so next thing you want to do is to kinda sprint while you have you know the opportunity because you don't have hunger forever so you need to make sure that you are sprinting around the map as fast as you can while um, starting off the game because that will ensure you that your hunger will you know it'll it'll go away but at least you used it wisely um, so now we we found a player tracker and we're gonna make sure to not use that because those things are very dangerous now we have an axe and uh, we just fell off that but that's okay because that could give us boosts of confidence right there that is not only a motivation for me to do better and to influence pain on others but it is just more than that I, it's it's hard to put into words all right so now now that we're doing pretty good we have an axe snowballs apples carrots one arrow a stick gold armor and a player tracker we're gonna switch out the axe for um, a stick basically why I do this is because if I'm like chopping people up with the axe it's just like you know I kinda start feeling bad for the player but also, when you're using the axe, you could go like this, and you could hit yourself. Oh my god! Oh my god! You could hit yourself in the head, like I almost did. So, considering I almost hit myself in the head there, I'm, I'm definitely not going to use it, because I don't want to hurt myself. So, now we are on a, uh, a run. So, um, this player is chasing us, and... Two players are chasing us, and um, this is the ideal situation because we have two hearts and uh, there's two players. So that means um, that just adds up perfectly. There's no way we can't lose in this situation. So I have my stick out and I'm ready to go. I should probably equip that armor that I got right at the beginning of the match because um, it should help protect me from these two people that have full health and I have two health. So it's just something good to and they're still chasing me but that's okay because I can take on any 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 other player so now that we are running up here um, I'm starting to feel we are getting we're kind of screwed but I don't want to say um all right um, I'm gonna try I'm, I'm sorry guys I 
I have a headache right now and I, I wasn't in the right mindset. We're gonna try one more time here and uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back in the lobby and like we did uh, in the last game, we have to talk a bunch of trash to all the other players. And suck. All right, you guys are idiots and suck. So what this is gonna make them think is like, hmm, he must be smart if I'm an idiot. So they're gonna want a team at one point in this episode, 100%. So uh, like I said last episode, you wanna run for the chest, but this time we're just gonna run away because we really do not need items because I own a Minecraft server. <laughs> we own a Minecraft server, so that means we're OP on every server. So, we have found our first chest, and oh my gosh, finally a good sword. Now, I, we just need some more chests, because I'd, I'd like to get a couple pieces of armor here. Bam! There we go. We got our armor, and we got another sword. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh, we have four swords. This is going to give us four times the power that one sword normally would. So, I guess the next strategy would be to make sure that you continue to sprint, like I said last episode. Um, basically, you, lava actually helps at times, um, unless it's about to kill you. Um, lava actually gives you like this fury inside, and man, I, it's hard to describe the feeling. You guys are just going to have to try it for yourselves, but it just... It really does something to you to just get your body going. Like, wow. Amazing. Okay, so we have one heart. That means we can take out one player. Uh, as I explained last episode, we do have some raw pork chop that will allow us to heal. And basically what... <sighs> okay, that was kind of scary. I'm not... Okay, we're going to... We're going to put all of our swords together so we get four times the power and hits. I guess we're just going to wait to go down. But it is kind of a critical time in the game, so we're just going to risk it and kind of jump around and stuff. So we do have two chests here that could help us out. We do have a boat, and this is what I was looking for. I will show you guys what to do, especially when you get a boat. Um, there was only one strategy once you get a boat, and that strategy is to run away from everybody else so you just hop in the boat and you just you just kind of swim away nobody will be able to get you when you're in this boat like somebody's trying two more chests all right so now we don't have a boat but um it doesn't it doesn't matter because i was kind of just kidding about that you really don't want a boat Boats actually decrease your health, as you can see. My health has only been going up, and that is not going to benefit us when we're in a 1v1 battle with somebody else. So I'm going to equip some armor now, and we're going to get an axe. Oh my god! Another play. Okay, we're just going to heal right here. And we're just going to take this guy out. He is not that good of a player. Um, We will run a little bit um, in hopes of finding another chest, but... It's not looking too hot for us. I might actually switch to my stick. I'm not sure here. So, like, as I told you guys, you need to make sure that you do all that stuff at the beginning in order to get a kill. Because that kill would not have been possible if I did not decrease all of my health um, earlier in the game. So, now we're kind of being chased, but that is alright. Because we do have some snowballs to knock him off a little bit. So, that will... Um, keep him away for a little bit now we're gonna equip some more armor and now he's gonna be a little bit more frightened now we're gonna go in for the kill because we know that we can beat him as I said um you need to make sure that you go into uh, fights without any health that is the only way you will be able to kill a player or at least the second player you kill that is the only way now that we are looking pretty terrible um, about now you would probably want to leave the game and start a new one because we are not doing that great. So, now we are going to place this cake down as more of a strategic method. We are not going to eat that, but if a player comes by and sees that cake, 
it's not gonna be good news because I just poisoned that cake I did eat some on accident before I poisoned it with egg but egg raw is actually not that great for you so if a player comes by and tries to eat it it will be an automatic headshot and that is what we are looking for we don't want stupid little lucky kills by using our swords and stuff we want to do it legit and that is why we do it like that so now that there are 10 tributes remaining um and we have full armor um you know there isn't much you can do now besides wait and you know if we could if we had barriers i would definitely set up a base um but i just don't really hello Like I said guys, the base is what would have helped us there. We got super lucky and ah man, yeah. Oh this sucks. Wow. Okay. So now that we have more eggs, we need to go back and poison that cake. Because you know if another player comes by. If it's like two people walking by and one player eats it, if we add three more eggs, that means that both players will die instantly. Um, and that's just... That, I, it's so cool how physics in this game work. Like, there's the cake, alright. So, we do have a chest refill coming up, and the, the world border is right there. So... You need to make sure that you go towards it so that you blow up. I'm going to poison that cake, actually. All right. So now if a player walks by there, especially when the... Actually, that... It might work on borders, too. It might break the border. We're just going to wait a sec to see if it does break the border. Um, um, okay, guys. So it didn't break the border that time. But um, half of the time, it does. So, All right. So we do have a chest refill in 28 seconds. I would love to take up this chest. But it doesn't look like I will be able to, as I was not able to kill the border on time. One thing we could do, though, is try to throw our axe at it. Okay, we can try it once more, because, man, I, it, it usually works. I'm not really sure what the heck's going on here. Okay, so we have five seconds until we have this chest uh, refilled. Oh, more axes to throw. Just what we needed. Okay, so it is now a 1v1 situation. Basically what you want to do now is make sure out of like every other thing that you're thinking about right now, make sure that you go for the kill. Don't cry about it in camp. You must go in for the action. Um, so yeah, I guess we're going to do a couple more axe throws as usually does. It's, I was watching a YouTube video and it said, Axe kills on the Mineplex server also kill borders. But, oh, it, I think it's taking damage when it turns red. Oh, yeah, it's taking damage from those axes. Um, I'm actually going to check its health real quick. Um, there's, I know there's a way. Um, let me find it here. Um, I might just Google it real quick. Um, it's also another thing that you want to do. This is more of a recording tip when playing survival games. You want to make sure that you don't entertain the crowd because that is exactly what they're looking for in a subscription ship to your channel. Um, so somebody died right here. Um, 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 supply drop. Did you guys hear that? Oh boy. Oh boy. So one thing you also want to do, especially when there's a lot of players, is go for the supply drop because no other players are going for it. And basically what that means is, okay, I, I see our opponent here. So we're going to fuel up a little bit and probably sneak up on this guy. Um, actually, no, uh, you, one thing you want to do is get his attention. Do not try sneaking up on him. How dare I even said that? You do not want to do, oh gosh. <laughs> Okay, so he's got some extra little uh, arrows, I guess you could call them. Um, he is chasing me. He does have a diamond sword. And he's the... Oh, I have ground smash too. 
How do I enable ground pound? I know I have ground pound. All right, is this guy chasing me? Yep, we're just taking him. I know I have ground pound. I don't know what's going on. Die, you poopy poop. Poop, poop. Okay, so I gave him the win, especially in that situation. 1v1, give the other guy the win. It's the nice thing to do, and it gives you less coins, which will give you an advantage on all of the Mindplex servers. So I hope you guys have enjoyed how to win every single Survival Games match. Um, a couple more tips before we end off the episode here, um, just in the lobby before you start. Um, you need to make sure you don't pick a kit. And also, if you have the coins, do not pick any upgraded kits because this is an unfair advantage against other players. And that is just unfair. Even if everybody else uses them, if you know that you're playing like a champion, you do you and you keep it up. So I hope you guys have a great day. And if you have enjoyed this commentary, make sure to leave a like down below. Peace out, everybody. Oh, I forgot this. Time.